Hello students, in this video I will cover heads of income according to Income Tax Act 1961 there are 5 heads of income which form a part of our total income that will be covered in this video. This video is very much significant for the students of BCom, MCom, CS, CS and, and CMS students as well as whoever is learning income tax as their subject as well as for practicing event. So let's start the video. When you come to the heads of income, there are 5 heads of income as already discussed. These 5 heads of income form a part of our total income. Income of an assessee is divided into these 5 heads. What is assessee assessment year, previous year already I made a video. The link of that video I will be sharing in the top right corner i button as well as in the description box. Please do watch that video to understand better the concepts. According to section 14 of the Income Tax Act, these 5 heads of income are very significant when you come to the individual's income. Under that first head is income from salary that will be covered in section 15 to section 617 of the Income Tax Act 1961. If you take an example, an individual might be working as an employee in an organization. There he might be earning some amount of salary from his employer. So this salary is taxable under the head income from salary. The provisions and rules and regulations laid down in this section 15 to section 17 will be covered for computation of income from salary. Please bear in mind there are different methods are there for computation of income tax liability according to various heads of income. The second head of income is income from house property. Already I made video related to income from house property. How to calculate that link will be shared in the top right corner in the i button as well as in the description box. Please do watch that video video to understand income from house property. Let's take an example. The individual might be earning salary working as an employee as well as he might be having some house property from which he is getting some rental income. That rental income covered by income from house property. It will not come under income from salary. The third category is profit and gains from business and profession. Section 28 to 44 DB. The individual apart from getting salary and income from house property, he might be doing some business rendering some professional services. There he will get some professional income or gain from business. So this will be covered according to the third head of income that is profit and gains from business and profession. Presume that if you take a doctor, doctor might be working in a hospital on salary basis will be getting some salary and might be having house property, rental income. Besides that, he is giving his professional services. From there, he might be earning. So that comes under the category of this profit and gains from business and profession. And the fourth category is income from capital gains, section 45 to 55A. Apart from having the above three heads, the individual may have some capital asset. When he transfer capital asset, he may earn capital gain. It may be short term, it may be long term. So that's the reason why in income generated from these capital gains comes under the category of income from capital gains. So it will be assessed under income from capital gain. So these are the four heads of income that we have covered. Whichever income do not fall in the four categories will be covered in income from other sources section 56 to section 59. If you take an example an individual might have invested certain amount in the stock market or debentures from those investment if he is earning certain income in the form of dividend or interest that income is taxed under the head income from other sources. So like this these are the five heads of income will form a part of total income of an individual and an SSC. Very significant concept and income tax we will understand different heads separately the calculation mechanism. Down the line I will make more videos on these heads calculation of income tax. I hope I have given you best information. Please uh, do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative and informative videos. I wish you all the best. Thank you.